Where do you want to be oiled first? For years, lubricant has been used to reduce friction, heat, and wear when introduced as a film between solid surfaces. Hobbies such as ours, where many individuals are concerned with squeezing out every bit of maximum potential, can of course also benefit from this. Welcome to the McMurlin Switch Lubrication Guide. Disclaimer, I personally do not like lubing switches because it takes so long, but hopefully this guide can motivate and inspire you to attempt this task yourself. Please do your own research as there are many ways to lube an MX style switch. Stay tuned till after the break. While prices are going down thanks to the efforts of vendors in our community such as SwitchMod and Novel Keys, it is still relatively expensive. I'd like to provide a different take on the matter and explore some easier to acquire lubes. It's a beautiful Saturday and I'm here at my favorite grocery store, Uwaji Maya. Let's go inside and check out what we can find. For the first item on our list, we're gonna get some soy sauce. I'm gonna go with my traditional staple over here, Kikoman soy sauce, less sodium. One thing we need to do is to use something that's more viscous. Let's see. I like black bean sauce or black pepper sauce and it should be somewhere around here. They've got chili black bean sauce, but aha, here we go. This is what I want. So it's called black pe pepper sauce by Lee Kum Ki. Okonomi sauce. This is really good stuff. I've had this before and oh man, I love this stuff. So if you're at an Asian grocery store, you cannot forget sriracha. We're gonna try this out for the very first time. I'll just, uh, I'll not only be reviewing it for the taste, but also on how good it works for your switches. This is our reference switch for the day. It's a completely stock Cherry MX Silver. I've chosen Cherry MX Speed Silver simply because it is one of the best linear switches currently available in the community. Let's first start off with some Kiko Man soy sauce. And I'm going to lube the stems just pretty much as normal. Let's see how this goes. I'm actually not going to actuate any of the switches until all of them have been lubed. Next, we've got olive oil. Due to its strong anti-inflammatory properties, I believe this will make a very good switch lube. Next up is the black pepper sauce. It's very thick and should provide a nice cushiony feel. Following that is the teriyaki sauce. This one's a lot thinner than the black pepper sauce, but should still provide the same cushiony feel. Our next lube is ketchup. With this, you should be able to catch up with your favorite competitive gamer. Recently, you may have come across Cristo Lube. Well, that's expensive too. Thankfully, we have an alternative called Crisco. Let's see how this does. Last but not the least, we're going to use actual butter. This should result in a very buttery switch.
I'm doing this last simply because butter will harden up over time. We need to heat this up so its liquid form can be easily applied to the stem. Now that we have all the switches lubed, I will be offering my professional opinion on how each of these lubes compare to a stock switch. So that's the stock. And this is the soy sauce one. Let's see how it feels. I actually don't feel much of a difference between soy sauce and stock. All right, next up is olive oil. I've got high hopes for this one as this one is an actual oil. Yeah, this one, the olive oil is noticeably smoother than the soy sauce. That feels really good, actually. Mmm. Okay, now we have our two sauces, black pepper sauce, and teriyaki sauce. The black pepper seems to slow down the switch a bit when you're depressing it. How about the teriyaki sauce? Okay, I can feel some, some grain in the teriyaki sauce one. It's probably not a very good lube then. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Now we're going to try ketchup. The ketchup is more prone to over lubing because I can hear the lube in, in it. Isn't very good. Now let's try the sriracha sauce. It's the same. Oh, some of the sriracha is spilling out. Spicy! But between the sriracha and the ketchup, I think I prefer the ketchup. Now the Crisco. Oh, that is really smooth. That's probably the smoothest one I've tried so far. This one's butter. So the thing about butter is that it starts to solidify over the course of time. So I think that's what I'm feeling right now. Okay. As I press it more, it starts to loosen up, but it's nowhere near as smooth as the Crisco. So if I had to rank all of these switches based on smoothness, I'd say the Crisco, followed by the olive oil, followed by the butter, assuming that it's still warm butter, instead of room temperature butter when it starts to solidify, and followed by the black pepper sauce, black pepper sauce, then the ketchup, then the, no, the teriyaki sauce is definitely not in there. So the ketchup, sriracha, and then the teriyaki sauce. It's no surprise that the best lubricants happen to be Crisco and olive oil. In my opinion, these are quite similar to our community's leading lubricants today and are available at a fraction of the price. I hope I've given you some ideas for your next keyboard build. If you found other lubricants that work, please make sure you write your findings down in the comment section below. Thanks for watching MacMerlin. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you all next time.